Welcome back guys, I'm Cowboy13. Thank you for joining me for another Call of Duty video today. We're going to be talking about the HBK30 and a best class setup video for it. If you do enjoy, please do subscribe and check out my other Call of Duty videos. Alright, let's hop right into it. So obviously we start off, we have the HVK30. What I like to do is I like to run the iron sights or the reflex sight. Again, I don't like using the other ones. Maybe the ELO if you're unlocked it that far, but I haven't unlocked it that far yet. I don't like using the other ones because it tends to make it less accurate because you're zoomed in so much more. But uh, the assault rifle, you know, you don't really need that. This is much more of a fi fast firing assault rifle. And so you can easily still shoot at range with the reflex or the iron sights. I like it a lot. And with the new patch that they just had a couple days ago, it's a lot more accurate, a lot less recoil, and you can handle it very well. Attachments I like to run are the grip for sure because it does have some vertical recoil. And then the quick draw grip because you can aim down sights a lot faster and hit your targets then. Uh, you could run a third attachment if you really want to, but I don't think this gun really needs it unless you want to run fast mags because it does, uh, you know, it runs out of bullets pretty quick because it fires so quickly because it's the fastest firing assault rifle, I believe. Or you could run long barrel and that will double your ranges. For any range, it will double all of them. So you'll be doing more damage per range. Uh, next, I don't want to run a secondary on this one unless you want to be able to shoot down UAVs or something like that. But I have it empty. I then use a lethal, either a frag or a Semtex are my favorite. Uh, if you want to be real fun, you could use a combat axe or C4, but that's not my type of play. Uh, the thermite is pretty good as well if you want that. But anyways, uh, I use a smoke screen. I've been loving this tactical grenade. I usually don't use tacticals, but the smoke screen's great. The shock charge is good. But uh, the smoke screen is great, and I'll cover it in another video why I love it so much. And then the perks for the last thing are definitely perk 3 slot is the most important. So you can either run Dead Silence or Awareness and Dead Silence. But I suggest always using Dead Silence. Footsteps are very loud in this game. And that's to make the game more tactical, more competitive. And so I would definitely use Dead Silence. Next, uh, perk 2 slot. I use fast hands on like every single class because it's much more important to me that I can get my weapon up faster after sprinting. And then perk 1 is kind of open. Uh, you can use Ghost if you have it unlocked. I use Sixth Sense a lot. Right now I have Sixth Sense and Blind Eye on because Blind Eye is very important when people have those streaks up in the air. But definitely Sixth Sense or Ghost is probably the thing I would use in that slot. And then obviously the wild card for either Perk 3 or Perk 1, whatever one you're doubling up on. So if you do enjoy, try out the HVK30 guys. It's a really good gun now. Uh, it fires very quickly. It's the fastest firing assault rifle. So you're going to be using it uh, much like an SMG, but you can use it at range. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do subscribe. Check out my other videos for more tips on Black Ops 3. See you guys later.